So now in this video, we're going to look at measuring voltages of a circuit with a multimeter. The main thing to be aware of is that when you're measuring voltage, you're measuring a voltage difference usually between nodes. You can also just measure it directly across a battery with no circuitry attached. But if there's a circuit, then a node is where two or more components make a direct electrical connection to each other. There's a number of reasons why you would measure the uh, voltage of a power supply, whether it's a battery or other type of uh, power supply. And when it comes to power supply, voltage is really the only measurement you ever take of them, unless they are really weak uh, power supplies, for the most part. But in uh, any case, for now, voltage is the only measurement you take of a power supply. So if it's a battery, you can tell how charged batteries are by their voltage. As they discharge, their voltage goes down. And so with alkaline, uh, 1.5 volts is kind of the middle ground of where it is. It's slightly higher when it's fully charged and it drops down uh, quickly when it starts getting discharged. So if you have an alkaline battery, 1.5 volts, it's doing pretty good. Uh, with lithium ion batteries, 3.6 volts is doing pretty good. It can go up to 4.2 when it's fully charged. And you should stop using it at about uh, 3 volts right there. And remember that series batteries add up. So if you have a bunch of them in series, then all of their voltages will add up and you can measure them independently or the total. If you know the value of a resistor, don't measure its resistance while it's being powered, but uh, if you know the value of the resistance and the voltage across it, you'll know how much current is flowing through it. It's pretty straightforward. Current is voltage divided by resistance. And finally, we're gonna look at the voltage across the diode, so that's important. Here's an LED schematic, but whatever the forward voltage is, that's the voltage it needs before it starts conducting. That's also the voltage that's dropped from series components. So in this case, the current setting resistor. If it's a rectifier diode, it's gonna be somewhere around 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. LEDs are typically around two to three volts, depending on their color. And they might be slightly higher at uh, higher currents, and they're gonna be a bit lower at uh, lower currents. But in any case, most meters have a diode testing setting. Do not do that while it's part of a circuit. You don't do that testing while there's being power applied, just like you don't measure resistance. So when power is being applied, unless you're measuring current, that's completely different. But uh, usually uh, voltage is the only measurement that you will take. So now getting the meter ready is really easy. Make sure red probe is where the uh, V is and then black probe to come. That's uh, universal with uh, meters. So some of them are auto ranging. There's just one setting for voltage. The meter I normally use has that setting and this one has a uh, range that you have to set it to so it's not auto ranging. They did upgrade though the Liumi LM2001. You got Liumi there and uh, that one is auto ranging. So this one's not even sold anymore. But uh, in any case, you set it to a voltage higher than you can expect. So we're not gonna go above 20 volts, but we are gonna be above two volts. And uh, so we're just gonna set it to 20 volts right there. So now I changed my mind. I decided we're gonna take our actual measurements with the auto ranging meter. So it has an off setting instead of an off button. We got voltage there. I gotta set it to voltage. And again, it's auto ranging, it does the rest. It's just smaller, so it's easier to uh, see on the screen. So I have the power supply set to five volts. The LED is off though, it's pretty obvious why. I didn't connect the power supply. But sometimes you don't realize that and maybe you think the LED is burnt out or something, but you check the supply voltage and uh, we do have a small voltage on there. I think that's from the LED uh, gathering light, Yep, as you can see there. So they act a little bit like a little solar cell when you got uh, light on them. Uh, so in any case, we're not gonna focus on that, but that is a really interesting electrical property of LEDs. They're kind of like little solar cells when they don't have any current going through them. So in any case, now we attach power. There's still no LED because the output is off. Now this particular power supply, you can see here that uh, we actually get a negative voltage while it's off. Negative about 0.6 volts right there. So if that will be a problem with uh, your circuits to use that power supply, then that's something to be aware of. So now I got the power on. Now you can see the LED is on. So again, we got the five volts and we can verify that with the power supply. And we got about three milliamps of current according to the power supply, which is probably uh, pretty close. This is a one kilo ohm resistor, 1000 ohm resistor. For each volt across it, you have about one milliamp of current going through that. 
we're going to look at that next. But there you can see we got uh, slightly above 5 volts. We lost a little bit through the wires because the power supply is set to 5.05. Uh, .05. But uh, we're getting what we expect, so that's good. So now we zoom in. You can see the circuit a whole lot better. And we got the resistor. As I said before, the power supply said we have about 3 milliamps of current going. So that's not uh, completely accurate, but I think it is right at uh, this time. So we're going to measure the voltage across the resistor. It's a 1000 ohm resistor, 1 kilo ohm. So that means for every volt across it, you're going to get about 1 milliamp of current through it because 1 milliamp is 1 1 thousandths of uh, 1. And uh, there you can see we got about uh, 3.143 volts across there. So we're going to have about uh, 1 uh, 0.86 volts around there across the LED and uh, yep, there you go pretty uh, close to spot on there so the LED is dropping some of the supply voltage from the resistor and then the resistor is setting the current from there so now I swapped out the resistors but that's not why the LED is off that's a 10 kilo ohm resistor the reason why the LED is off because I put it in backwards it's very important that LEDs are inserted in the right direction so you can see we got uh, 5 volts there and since it's backwards it's gonna block it's gonna drop uh, the full voltage right there and so that's a good indication that you have an LED in backwards we'll turn it around now it's lit up and we can look at the voltage drop of the LED first. So there you can see it's not as high. That's because it's low current. The LED is uh, barely lit right there. And uh, so it's uh, dropping a little less voltage, but uh, primarily it's this 10,000 ohm resistor, which still has close to about uh, three volts across it. So slightly more now, but uh, 10 times the resistance. And so we're gonna have one tenth of the current that we did with the one kilo ohm resistor. So for the last resistor, we got 510 ohms, which in this circuit gets us uh, probably really close to 6 milliamps of current. So that will be a little bit off if it's just a spec below. But in any case, you can see the LED is quite a bit brighter right there. And we can also measure, we're going to see that it has a little bit more voltage built up across it, but not a lot. So it holds relatively stable, but it does go up a bit. And uh, so... There we got the uh, resistor and about the same voltage across it, but uh, since it's half the resistance of a one kilo ohm, you'll get about twice the current. So now we got the green LED. So this one's interesting. Green LED is a lot brighter than the red LED. And you can already see there's about one milliamp of current less going through it, uh, going through the whole circuit. And uh, that's because the green LED actually has a higher voltage drop higher forward voltage so there you can see it's getting closer to three and at higher currents it would go up uh, a bit more but in uh, any case we have more voltage across the LED and so less voltage across the resistor so less current than we had with the red LED but the green LED is just naturally brighter so in any case you learn a lot just by checking voltages make sure you do that every time you learn about voltages of components and so this meter we want to set to off before it starts beeping to tell us to turn it off and it does auto shut off after a period of time but in any case whenever you're using a meter if you measured current then get it off of measuring current that's the uh, most uh, dangerous thing to accidentally measure you could blow a fuse in the uh, meter but uh, in any case that's it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can I got links down in the description. That'll help out a ton. I will see you in the next video.